Fox News alert as the 2020 race heats up. President Trump saying he would accept damaging information on his opponent during the campaign from a foreign government, adding that he would contact the FBI if he thought, quote, there was something wrong. White House Deputy Press Secretary Hogan Gidley joins us now from the North Lawn. Hogan, good morning to you. Good morning, Hogan. Good morning. As you have probably seen the reaction to those words of the president, Democrats are using it to further call for the impeachment of this president based on what he said there. Does the president stand by that or want to change any of those words or is, is that what he said? Look, I wish that the media would uh, take the time to look at the full clip. I was standing just feet away from the president in his exchange with uh, George Stephanopoulos. It was very clear. The president said if there was wrongdoing, of course he'd turn it over to the FBI. That's absolutely ridiculous. But let's talk about how we got here and what the media uh, continues to focus on. Democrats are going down these ridiculous rabbit holes. They've been doing this now for multiple years, trying to attack then-candidate Donald Trump and now the president. I mean, this information was gotten by the crooked Hillary campaign. They're the ones who solicited and paid for information from a foreign entity in Christopher Steele who got fake information from Russia and they use it to weaponize uh, uh, an entire campaign against this president, first as a candidate and now as the president of the United States. It's absolutely ridiculous that we're not having this conversation. This is how we got here. I think and everyone wants to focus on a non-meeting with Donald Trump, uh, the Donald Trump campaign, rather, in Trump Tower that lasted a few seconds. It's absolutely so ridiculous. just a couple of things. I hear you say he would, of course, go to the FBI. But, of course... If you look at the exact words of the president, he said, maybe go to the FBI if there was something wrong there. We're seeing reaction from Capitol Hill. Senator Lindsey Graham is, has responded to the president's comments, and, and he just said this. What are the implications of hearing the president of the United States saying it's okay to accept foreign uh, uh, yeah. dirt from yeah. about a, an opponent? Yeah, I think it's a mistake. I think, I think it's a mistake of law. I don't want to send a signal to encourage this. And I hope my Democrat colleagues will be equally offended by the fact that this actually did happen in 2016, where a foreign agent was paid for by a political party to gather opposition research. All those things are wrong. How does the White House respond to that, Hogan? He, he called it a mis mistake, a mistake of law, the senator said. Well, look, the president was very clear this was opposition research. It was one conversation, and that was the end of it. What Lindsey Graham did point out was that the fact the Hillary Clinton campaign actually paid for information, got it, and it was used by the FBI, weaponized, and, and we now know at the upper echelons of the FBI, at the very top, with the Strucks and the Pages and the Comeys and the McCabes of the world, who now either were fired or obviously resigned in disgrace, they were the ones who weaponized that agency against this president with disproven, discredited, and debunked information at this point. We now know this. The question really is, how do we get here in the first place? Not how some ridiculous meeting, as I said, that just lasted a brief amount of time. The president got no information from Russia. It was the Hillary Clinton campaign that actually used the information. Information, and, and, and the FBI actually weaponized it against us because of the corruption at the upper echelons. Oh, we now know with the text messages exactly who's, think, who's to blame here. Yeah, do you think the criticism is unfair? Look, uh, Washington Post last year, I dug out this article, Brian Fallon. Brian Fallon was a top uh, DOJ uh, official. He was also the chief press secretary for the Hillary Clinton campaign in 2016, and he said this, if I had gotten handed it last fall, meaning the dossier, I would have no problem passing it along and urging reporters to look into it. I probably would have volunteered to go to Europe myself to try and verify it. There you have an official of the Clinton campaign saying, I'm going to go to Europe myself to go get this. Absolutely, and I'm so glad you pointed that out. The hypocrisy here knows no bounds from the Democrats and from the media. They allowed the Clinton campaign to do this. They now know some of this information, and they're still going after this president, who, by the way, after the Robert Mueller report came out, he walked to that podium and he closed the investigation, he closed the case, he even closed his own office and said, this is over and done with. There were no indictments around that meeting. It's absolutely ridiculous. There's been no collusion, no corruption, no obstruction. We now know that for a fact. And the media continues to nitpick and, and mm. take things out of context, this president says, instead of focusing on how we got here in the first place, just final, which just, was nefarious okay. actions from the crooked Hillary final, Clinton campaign. Final thoughts on that, because we have other things we want to get to with you. But in that interview, the interviewer, Stephanopoulos, did point out the, the FBI director, for Christopher Wray, has said campaigns should reach out to the bureau if they are contacted by a foreign entity. Does the president think the FBI director is wrong on that? Well, he's... 
Well, he said he would do both. I was standing right just steps from him, and I don't know if that clip's actually been played. I'd be surprised if it was, because Lord knows we actually give the president the full context he deserves. He was very clear. If he got information and it was nefarious or ill-gotten in any way that and it, and it was wrongdoing, he would absolutely take it to the FBI. Well, the and for the media to try to push the, this another way is absolutely ridiculous. The president responded, the FBI director is wrong. Right, but he, he, first of all, I think we were talking about James Comey at the time, and we all know James Comey sure is wrong after being a convicted liar and leaker. So that's what the president was talking about, but he made the point he would send this information to the FBI if it, if it was uh, in any way uh, uh, wrongdoing in the process. If a foreign entity does contact the campaign or the White House with dirt on somebody, would you go to the FBI and turn that over? Well, the president said he would do that if there was wrongdoing. That's a question for the campaign, obviously. But the president was very clear here. And for the media to go down this, this rabbit hole is just ridiculous. All right. Now, moving on to the House Judiciary uh, Chairman Jerry Nadler. Uh, he announced yesterday that former Trump confidant Hope Hicks, who I should point out is the EVP and, and Chief Communications uh, Director for Fox Corp, uh, will testify before his committee as part of this investigation into whether or not the, uh, President Trump obstructed the Mueller investigation. What is the response from the president on that? Well, listen, the president told everyone to cooperate. Uh, this is the most transparent president in history. He gave uh, you know, millions of documents uh, over, over to Robert Mueller in their report, and there is no way that Jerry Nadler is going to find something out about Hope Hicks that Robert Mueller couldn't. Again, this is not oversight. This is overreach. They're going after people of this administration, trying to shame this president. This is over and done with. And just because you don't like the outcome of the game doesn't mean you get to play it over. That's what Jerry Nadler repeatedly is trying to do to this president. And, uh, it's well, stupid and pointless. They're also trying to... Uh, Signing contempt for both Wilbur Ross uh, and, and you know what do you think about that? And William well, look, right because because heaven forbid the administration find out when we actually administer a census to find out who's in this country, whether we can ask or not someone's an American citizen. That was the norm for decades. The real question isn't why are we trying to find out who are citizens in this country and who aren't. The real question is why don't Democrats care? They're the ones who are for open borders. They're the ones who refuse to close loopholes to protect the American people, instead to protect those here illegally and unlawfully. That's a question that no one is asking of Democrats right now. And we deserve the right to know who's in this country, who are citizens. And that's all this is about. But look, the Supreme Court is going to decide this in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, this is just Democrats trying to color the court. But they won't fall for that. All right. Will the administration abide by uh, any court decision? Oh, of course. Okay. Okay. Real quick, President Xi and the president uh, meeting at the end of the month at the G20, that's still on? Uh, it looks it looks like we're moving in that direction. The president said yesterday he was going to meet with several world leaders. There's a lot to be done. The president's trying to get uh, a deal done with uh, right. trade on China, and uh, hopefully that gets done uh, there at the G20. All right. We're right up on, against okay. a deadline here, too, Hogan Gidley. Thank you for joining us live from the White House. Thanks, Hogan.